Hi guys. <clears throat> I am going to do. Hopefully you can see me. I'm trying to do the best that I can with staying in view. Um, as you can see, I have a new setup here. Um, it is zoomed in a little bit, so I'm going to try and stay in view of uh, doing the recording. Um, and uh, we're going to do another Halloween tag. Um, when I did the first one, um, sorry, my cat keeps trying to climb up because I'm talking. Um, when I did the first video, um, I had a lot of mess ups in it. I didn't quite know what to talk about or what to do. Um, it was kind of hard. Now I see why it is you ladies um, kind of struggle with uh, doing videos and tutorials. Not a lot of you do. Um, a lot of you are quite experienced in doing it. Um, but uh, as I said, this is my first time doing these. So um, bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to do the best that I can to stay in view and the best that I can to talk uh, throughout the tutorial. Uh, it's not really a tutorial, it's just kind of doing crafting and uh, showing you what it is that I do, again. Um, so bear with me, um, and anything that I end up doing where I am quiet, um, please don't mind that. Uh, as I said, I'm doing the best that I can. Um, so this is a printable that I printed off, um, and this is a piece of cardstock that I got from just a stamp set. Um, or a, yeah, a stamp set, um, and uh, we're going to uh, alter it. Um, I really wanted to do an altered card, or sorry, an altered Halloween card, uh, tag, sorry, so I picked the biggest size that I could get, uh, so you guys could see exactly what it is that I'm doing. Um, as I said, um, bear with me. Uh, it's easier for me to do to video, or sorry, it's easier f for me to do crafts when I don't have to talk because a lot of the times I have my water sounds in the background um, and that helps me to concentrate on what I'm doing so it is kind of hard to um, talk and do a video at the same time. So bear with me um, and any kind of mess ups that I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to leave it in because uh, um, I'm not too sure how to um, fix the uh, video as I do them. Um, so I'm just going to leave it in because I find it funny when you do mess ups in videos. Um, it helps me to learn exactly what it is that I'm doing wrong and it also helps others um, as you're creating something and when you do something wrong in the video too. So. It's not a tutorial, it's just a altered Halloween tag that I really wanted to do, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, bear with me, and we'll uh, get started here. Um, so as I said, this is a print-off that I did, um, and I'm thinking of using it. I kind of wanted a skull, a printable skull, but I really like the uh, look of this. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet, so I'm just kind of kind of, uh, I think, cut it to size, um, and then uh, maybe do a little bit of um, stenciling uh, with gesso or Mod Podge or something, um, and uh, we'll see what I can do with it, so bear with me. I hope that you guys will give this a try. Um, I've seen some of you that have looked at my <laughs> silly videos that I've done, um, and uh, I know they weren't the greatest, but uh, we all start somewhere, we all begin somewhere, um, we were all the same way when we first started, doing our first videos or tutorials on uh, something that we were excited about doing, um, so let's just see what I can do here. I'm kind of excited because I don't even know what I'm going to do here. So I find the biggest thing with me is um, that kind of really scares me is blank pages. I'm overwhelmed when it comes to a blank page. Um, I find it very frightening because 
it is something that uh, looking at a blank page, even though you have all of your crafts, um, I have a whole bunch of uh, Halloween supplies over here in my corner, a whole bunch of stuff that I can use, but it's putting it together um, on a blank page, it's kind of a lot of hit and miss, so you kind of throw a couple of things down and you're not too sure if it'll work, you know, and a lot of the times a lot of people end up, um, for people who aren't as experienced as others, um, we kind of just throw things down and then kind of if we don't like it we take it off or, you know, do the best that we can to uh, make something nice. But as I said, this is a Halloween altered tag, so I'm just kind of, kind of, uh, throw whatever I can at it and see how it works. Um, now I noticed too that a few people had asked about um, the supplies that I have here. Like a, um, a lot of people seem to be liking this. Um, it is a, uh, as you can see, a spider web uh, tool. I guess they call it tool. I think they call it tool. Um, now I have a whole bunch of different kinds. Um, and I was actually thinking, because I'm in Canada, I don't know how it is in the States and in other parts of the world, what it is that you guys get for, for uh, materials and stuff. So I was thinking of maybe starting like um, a swap of my own. Um, because I noticed that a lot of people are interested in the things that I do post, like just on my personal Facebook and stuff like that, of things that I do create, and they're always wondering what it is that, uh, where I get the things that I get. Um, and as I said, a lot of them that I get at uh, the dollar store, um, which are really, really cheap, and a lot of them are really, really very nicely made. And I can't believe that I paid $2 for a roll of this. Um, show you what it is exactly. It is this. I hope you can see it. I'm doing the best that I can to show you. Um, it's a spider web. Um, I also have one that's in purple. Um, and then I have two more that are in witch. Um, <coughs> witch is flying around. So uh, hopefully you can see that. Maybe you want to look at it. And, uh, yeah, so I was thinking of doing, as I said, it comes in a pretty thick roll. I'm not too sure how they measure these kind of things. Um, I don't know how long it is, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I, know it's, I know that when you go into a material store, they have a name for the lengths that you get, and I cannot think of the name. Um, so it is a fair amount that you get. Um, it is a lot. Like, this will last me all the way into next hollow Halloween. Um, I do kind of speak differently, too. Uh, bear with me about that. Um, sorry, this is another one. It's not Halloween, but it is uh, another material that I found a lot of you really, really loved. Um, I'm going to try and put a dark piece of paper here so that you can see exactly what it is. You can see that it has a uh, gold leafing on it, and it is beautiful. It's absolutely, be and it's so soft. I love this material. And like I said, it was two dollars a roll, and I have tons of it. So um, <coughs> that's why I was thinking because I have so much of this, and it's going to last me a long time. Like there's no way that I'm going to end up going through all of this. It, it will last me a few years. Um, so I was thinking of doing um, some swaps. Um, I know a lot of other groups who do the swaps, and um, I know they do them like for things that people get in their countries, uh, which are things that, sorry about the crinkling here, um, they get them in their countries where people in different countries don't get that kind of stuff. And here's another one here, the witch one that I was talking about. It's orange with pumpkins and witches and cats and bats. And I really love it. <laughs> it's really, really cool looking. Um, so yeah, um, I was thinking of doing, starting a thing in our group. I know it's not something that um, I had, po I know it's something that I posted in our group not to do, um, but I'm finding that um, a few of our members and some other people 
are interested in um, doing um, a swap of getting the kind of stuff that I get here in Canada. Um, as I said, in different countries, things are different. Again, sorry for the crinkling. Um, here's another spider web one, which this one's a little bit different than the other spider web one that I have. Um, I don't even know where it went now. It must have tagged along with the other roll that I had. Um, but hopefully you can kind of see that. You can see that it's got spider webs and spiders on it. It's actually really pretty, and this is actually my favorite color, this purple. I love it. So, yeah. Um, if you guys are okay with that in our group, uh, Friends in the Creation of Art Studio, if you're okay with that, with me posting um, the videos and tutorials and uh, swaps for our group, um, <coughs> for me to send you, um, again, sorry for the crinkle. Sorry, I'm going to show you here another one that I got. As I said, these were $2 a roll. These are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I think I already showed you this one, actually. Um, no, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, but one's in black and one's in orange. Um, <coughs> now, as I said, in the dollar store here in Canada, it's called Dollarama. Um, I know it's something you guys can't physically get to. Um, so that's why I was thinking of starting a swap of um, sending different kinds of materials and uh, things that I get from the stores here in Canada, um, which they carry a lot. Now, I know Walmart, they do carry some stuff, but for some reason here in Canada, just with the Walmart at my end of town here in Canada, um, they don't um, supply a lot of craft things. Um, it's kind of hit or miss every month, so a lot of the times I have to order off of line, off online, sorry, um, <coughs> for the things that I need or want. Like, they don't have a lot of the supplies that I have, um, so I do have to order them online. Um, and that, to me, is a little expensive. Because of where I am in Canada, it costs a lot more for the shipping, um, especially depending on where I'm getting it. Um, in parts of the world too. Sorry, my cat keeps climbing up here. She, as I told you before in the, my last video, she doesn't like it when I talk. Um, she's a big fuck, and she's also pregnant right now, and she's due to have babies any day now. So, um, but anyways, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that's just kind of some ideas that I'm kind of throwing around in my head, and uh, was wondering if you, what you guys think about it. Um, I'm also doing, um, I wanted to show you guys some, um, things that I created myself, which I've actually lost. I don't know where I put them. I seem to have lost them. Um, <coughs> but I'll show you later, actually, anyways. So, let's get started on this. Now, I don't know when, um, and if the, uh, camera will cut off. It is on a 60-minute, um, time so, I know in the last video, or the first, very first video that I did, I keep saying last, it's like I did like 10 of them or something, um, but in the first video that I did, um, I had a lot of problems with the camera because I don't know how to work it. Like I said before, it's my daughter's camera, so I'm not too sure exactly how to work it, so it's kind of hit or miss with me. Um, she's kind of showing me as I go um, on how to work it, so anyways, let's get started here. Um, so, I think I'm just going to, um, hmm. don't mind my nails, um, I, I don't really care to have my nails look clean because, um, I don't work anymore, um, I'm always at home and I'm always crafting, and I run my group page, uh, Friends in the Creation of Art Studio, um, I do have two admins in our group, um, which are Nancy Snyder and Jay Divas, which I'm sure you've seen a few of her videos. Um, so, um, <coughs> it's a new group um, that, it, that we started about almost three months ago now. And uh, we're kind of hit and miss with it, I find. 
Um, even though we, we ourselves, a lot of us ourselves do a lot of crafting and stuff like that, it's, um, I don't know what everyone is really interested in, so I, I like to post polls as to see what it is what you guys are interested in. And it really, really helps when you guys comment or leave uh, suggestions or things that you're interested in doing. And I know a lot of you are interested in doing um, junk journals and stuff, but uh, it, that's not what our page is about. Um, it it uh, is kind of a bunch of different things that I want to do for our group, you know? Um, we do swaps, we're going to do challenges. Um, starting on Monday, we're going to do our very, very first uh, rack um, for our group members. And oh, I hate when this does this. Oh, it's so frustrating. I have to care. No, I can't take it back up. Alright, so that's going to have to go the way it is. A little bit crooked, but we'll have to deal with it. So, I know that uh, a lot of you are interested in doing card making and journals and stuff like that. So, this is why I posted different kinds of swaps for our group. Um, just so everyone's interested in it and um, other people that join, it's not the same thing as what everybody else really enjoys doing. So, I want to make it different for everybody and enjoyable for everybody. Um, I myself, I do love doing journals. I have tons of them. I've done ton tons of them. Um, but uh, I want to make things different for our group, um, for everybody to enjoy. In swaps, in challenges, in the racks. Um, as with Halloween coming up, um, I'd love to do um, a Halloween rack. Um, now, if you're not interested in doing a rack itself, if you want to just do uh, a swap, if you'd like me to create like a, um, a group swap for Halloween stuff that you can swap with others in the group, um, then I'll do that. It doesn't have to be a rack, which isn't a random act of kindness. Um, we can do that another time if you'd like to, but like I said, it helps when you guys leave comments um, in our group. Because these kind of things, when you leave the comments, it helps me to know what it is that you guys are interested in. And if you don't leave comments and things and ideas that you're interested in uh, doing craft-wise, then I, I, can't, I can't read your mind. So <laughs> um, I, I just noticed that a lot of people are not leaving comments on things. You know, I, I, I do post a lot of videos on... Um, uh, tutorials from other people, um, as and like I said, it's hit or miss, you know, a lot of you like some of them and a lot of you don't, um, so if you're visiting our group and you're in our group, it helps if you guys leave a comment, you have to leave a comment so I know what you guys are really interested in because I can't read your mind, okay, I'm trying to make our group page the best that I can to be helpful for everyone. Um, so please leave a comment um, on the things that you are interested in. When I post the videos, let me know what you think about it. If you like that idea of the video that I posted, because I'm just going through and I'm just kind of throwing up videos um, to see what you guys are interested in. And if you don't leave a comment, then I don't know what you're interested in. So it helps me to make our group page better um, and it helps our admins to post other videos for you guys too to see what you're interested in so please leave a comment on anything that we post on our group um, it really really helps guys um, we just want you guys to be in our group and have fun you know uh, chit chat back and forth about uh, some ideas you know um, it's, it, ah, I'm losing a track of mind here because I'm talking too much about it. Um, so anyways, yeah, you get the idea. Um, just leave a comment. It helps. Um, thank you for leaving all the comments that you have about uh, the first video that I posted. I know I was crazy, silly, and kind of, you know, uh, flying by the seat of my pants when I created the first video. Um, as I said, I didn't really know what I'm doing, and I still kind of don't know what I'm doing. Um... It takes me a long time to do things, um, a very long time, because even though I sit here and I craft a lot, 
I'm the type of person that gets bored very, very easily on doing one thing. So I have like a thousand things going on craft-wise. Um, so that it keeps my brain from freezing up on one thing. Once I start realizing that, okay, I'm doing something stupid on this, or I'm doing stupid something stupid on something else, I have to stop doing what I'm doing, or I'm just going to end up creating a mess on whatever it is that I'm creating. Um, because I'm getting bored of doing it, and I can't think clearly anymore as to what it is that I'm going to do. Um, so I move on to, I have, like I said, I have a lot of things that I create, um, and I love a lot of the things that are create. I know we all have different tastes, too. Um, so I have to keep my mind active and not keep doing the same thing all the time. Um, that is why I didn't want our group page to be the same thing um, every day or every month or every week. I wanted it to be different for our members. Um, as I said, I, I get bored very, very easily um, doing something. So, yeah, a little bit about me. Um, so now, I'm going to, this is stocking that I also got at the dollar store. Where, um, now, if you went to Walmart or Sears or any other um, brand name store to get this kind of stuff, you're looking at spending probably $10 for this. Um, and that's a little ridiculous to me for something that I'm just going to end up cutting up. So I really liked that this this was only a dollar fifty when I got it. So now I'm going to cut it up, which doesn't bother me doing that because it is so cheap.